everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Bumble and Bumble's top selling franchise, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. So you might already know it. Uh, the whole line, the idea behind it is to be for people with dry hair. And as we know, most humans have dry hair. But depending on how you mix and match this line, you can make it work for different types of dryness. The first products I'm going to talk about are the shampoo and conditioner. So Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Conditioner. I always think that the invisible should be in big, bright, flashing lights because the idea of the invisible oil in this line is to penetrate into the hair and not sit on top of it. So it will help heal the hair as opposed to creating a soft look. So the shampoo and conditioner, sulfate free, but the shampoo does give a really fabulous sud. So you get a really nice clean out of the shampoo experience. And then when you add the conditioner on, it gives you that really nice soft waterfall effect. Um, my hair is pretty fine, but I need moisture. So a lot of times when I go to moisturizing shampoos and conditioners, I get a lot of weight. With these guys, I don't because remember, it's invisible oil. So I love this and this is a fabulous option for people who have dry hair. The next product within the line is the primer. And I will be doing a separate video for all the different primers so we can compare them all next to each other. However, within the line, the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. So primers are very similar to primers for your face, where they're gonna fill in all your pores, they're going to make your products work better, last longer, and you need to use less of them. That's exactly what this is doing for the porosity of your hair. Uh, so after you shampoo and condition, you're gonna spray this on your hair very similar to a detangler, but it's a fancy detangler. Uh, so it has the invisible oils that the shampoo and conditioner has. It also has heat and UV protection. So I do use this product, but because it's a bit milkier than the other primers, it can translate as a little heavy. So I'm using this product mids to ends, and quite literally I spray it in and I really press it into the hair to fill in my porosity. Um, and it's great for your heat styling clients, it's great for the people who can't live without their wand or their flat iron. Um, this again, remember it's a foundational product, so you're going to be putting other products on top of them and it's going to allow those products to work better. Um, that I think is pretty much it. And I might come back to this if I have more to say about it. Um, the next product is the oil. So Hairdresser's Invisible Oil is actually the very first product within this line that launched the entire thing. Um, this oil is clear, it's buildable, and it also has heat and UV protection. So you can use it to blow dry or you can use it at the end to collapse the hair. Um, in terms of someone with finer hair like me, this tends to be a little heavy. So I'm gonna be prone to using something a little bit lighter like Brilliantine and um, I will talk about all the finishers and whose hair they're for at a, on another video. Um, so again, think thicker, coarser, more fluffy hair that you need to collapse towards the end of the service. That's how I like to use the oil product. Um, the next two products are going to be when you're done blow drying. So more or less finishing products. Like totally done with your service and then you almost want to add, I always think of these guys like an Instagram filter. So how do you want it to look when you're done and when you're sending them to the desk to check out and leave? So the dry oil finishing spray is truly just a shine spray. But similar to how I notated invisible, think dry oil. That means that this isn't going to leave your hair greasy or oily. I like to think of it like the highlighter for your hair. So even again, mentioning myself, somebody with finer hair, I love a good shine spray, but I hate when they leave me greasy. This one does not leave you greasy. And I think the best thing to think of is somebody who wants a very sleek, smooth blowout. This is a great one to finish with. Um, the next one is a newer product called um, Soft Texture Finishing Spray. Soft Texture Finishing Spray is going to allow shine, but then it will also allow to get you some definition, some separation, and a little bit of texture without the mattifying effects that you might see from the dry spun finish, which I also love, but this allows you to have a little bit of shine with it. So it's a texturizing shine spray. But again, it's still very light and it's not gonna leave you greasy. All right, that is it for Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and um, I'll see you soon.